What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic, a butcher, and a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. I'm really not going with you. Luan, yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right.
biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Report to Meyer. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our corps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Nah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh... -huh. Maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You want to pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's God. in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Matt does not forgive the renegades for that.
Raiden, don't just stand there. Come here. <coughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? It's personal. Let's leave it at that for now. I understand. That's fine. For now. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another. And another. Until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, Night Runners tried to take it over. 
They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the Night Runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last Night Runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Hey, the Juan. Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. 
Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Shift. This uniform's too tight. This, dump that. What am I doing? Goddamn renegades attacking the canteen now. drug. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen 
wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you are the peacekeepers of delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. <laughs> Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. Well Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do more good between heavier courses. Me, people will always complain. I hear Matt told his men to leave the island camp. Damn PKs don't care about us. You know, when they dug the metro in the 1960s, they came to the online world. Surely you can do this at least this small section. You know well, Senor Anton. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? 
I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Community still means something here. There's yeah. one thing I'd ask for in exchange, though. You said before you've met pilgrims. They as cunning as they say? I've seen many pilgrims, but only known one. People say they're criminals, no conscience, no principles. You'll have to be the judge. In 23, Berlin fell. All of Germany was lost. My friend Bernard got work for us in Dortmund. <laughs> The plan, taking your doing jobs up. Now, you got me! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
We should be getting ready for winter. One, there's nothing left in here. Dan, you said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. paintings but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch.
list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Burkowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. Soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay. I'll go there. And listen. That vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. <laughs> 